doing like three or four. Okay. And, um, I mean, it really just depends. It's been really grassroots. So like, as people are finding out about us and they actually have a desire for us to come to the campus, you know what I'm saying? That's what we, we make something happen. We appreciate We appreciate you guys having us, man. It's early. I really want to hear what I got to say, man. The real thought was like, you know what I mean? About entrepreneurship and I'm a business manager. Okay. So and that's what we do, you know what I mean? That's the kind of stuff we do here in the cab camp and the kids for all the you know, you know, you know booking venues and getting our budget in and yeah, Donovan's been kinda of telling me about all the things going on. Yeah, so. Yeah. so that's the kind of stuff. Yeah. That's right in my alley, you know. He she so he showed me y'all stuff a while ago and I was impressed because you know, I I know a lot of young up and coming clothing designers who are trying to, you know, they're on the same ambition type of stuff around. They trying to get where y'all at. So to see, you know, young black dudes trying to get it, and yeah. I can relate to them, especially because I mean it's a lot of them out here. Yeah. They really yeah. just trying to make it. It's it's it's, 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 it's hard. So to see y'all doing it, to have y'all step up and come out and show the kids like, you know what I mean? This is where you at now, but this is where you could be if you put in this amount of work. You see what you're saying? And that was the main reason for us wanting to do it. I mean, yeah. you know, I mean I, I'm not sure how many times you guys have had people who are a little bit older to be put in the same age demographic come back and say, like, yo, this is how you're supposed to go at. Yeah, yeah. I know we ain't never had that, you know, especially not in high school or, or even right. in college. So it's like, I mean, you know, we're definitely nowhere near where we want to be, but as we're progressing, you know what I'm saying? Right. You know, come back and show like, yo, like, this is how it's done, and it's right. very possible, but you gotta be able to have uh, an extreme work ethic, right? right. I'm saying that the stomach is still able to make that happen. I mean, I think that's something that plays our society anyway, though. That once we feel like we have to be all the way on to actually reach yeah. back and pull somebody up, and then yeah. once we get on, it's like, nah, it's right, once, right. once you get on, yeah. they want to get now, I guess the transition from me saying I like fashion, I like to get fresh, to this possible being a I honestly was sitting in my cousin's apartment one day and I was like, you know, wow, God, you know, I really hate this internship and I really don't want to graduate from college and work for somebody for the rest of my life. What can I do for the rest of my life that, A, I can be able to provide a living for myself and my family? I can be able to um, aspire and motivate people. And I don't mind getting up every day and working at this particular project because at the end of the day, we all have work. Summer is an LLC from everything else is that think of a buffer in between me and you, right? So me being myself and if you are on a group, if somebody was trying to come and sue me, they could only attack myself. They couldn't attack the assets and the profits of my actual company. And more differently, if somebody was trying to sue my company, they could never attack my personal assets and my personal wealth. They could only attack what the company has. You know, so it, 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 separate, it, it gives you a good separation. Um, you yeah, know, a good separation for that. And on there, I also had uh, took the liberty of. Are you guys ever trying to start a business at any point in time? Okay, cool. So what I did was I went in. Each state has a different process and different websites where you can go to in order to um, to get your company incorporated. So if you guys look at the top, and if you guys can't see, I got it. Um, spell it out for you guys, the website that you guys can go if you guys are getting um, incorporated for your company in South Carolina is www.scbos.sc.gov. And when you go there, it, the, everything is for the most part is pretty self explanatory as far as what that process is. It's only going to take you a couple days. I think for the state of South Carolina, the fee is only $110. $110. So you, what you do is you submit your name, what you want in the actual company. It takes a, a day or two to, to go through all of this database. As long as you didn't steal the name from somebody else, we have your certificate and you're good to go. Was um, getting our logo actually trademark. And as a, so there was a gentleman here earlier who was asking about it. That's probably like the longest process of starting a business. Um, it's going to take you to a year and a year. Uh, and it's going to cost you probably more to seven or nine hundred dollars, uh, depending on depending on what kind of trademark you get. You're getting. Reason for that being is that you have to give after you submit your logo, you have to give an opportunity for anybody in, in essence in America to contest against.
that logo. You guys never heard about trademark infringement or people suing other companies because their trademarks are similar? Well, this process, you know, kind of helps you not get to that point. How you plan out what your cost of production is going to be, um, if you're going to be traveling, how much that's going to cost. Um, you could, if, if you're cutting checks to people so maybe you have a payroll, you have all that that's taken into consideration. And then after you have all that money that you have to kick out and account for, you take a look at the money that you're bringing in, and then that's when you start digging out. When you're on your own business, you get paid by yourself. You know, um, this isn't a situation where it's like, oh, so now we're all business, so now, you know, every dollar I get is the dollar I spend. You know, your company is going to be broke. And a lot of times, I mean, we make that mistake too. You know, we make the mistake that we got money, you know, we spent it. Um, and there's no way of saving up for a rainy day. There's no way of uh, executing any, any particular financial or company goals. Because everything that is quick as coming in is going right back out. I had a great idea, I had no money coming in, but I'm about to go back home and I'm about to start selling product. We had our own online store set up, you know, so but even with that, I mean, we were very naive to thinking that once we told all our friends on Facebook that, you know, our local is now up for business, we were about to have an influx of sales coming in from the people just thought we were that cool and our product was that great. That definitely wasn't the case. Actually, we didn't sell anything for like the first month and a half, almost two months. Um, what about like what is the value of the company? Yes. Is it a big one? Well, we well, for all of our um, crew necks and t-shirts, uh, we have a uh, spray for a company that we go to the space in Atlanta. For all of our kind of sell products like New Jersey that I have and jackets that we did, we get all that done on the scene.